So hello everyone, my name is Roxana and I am going to tell you what I did within the first three days that I actually knew that I was going to go to UAG. UAG is a uh, school of medicine in Guadalajara and it's cool because it's an uh, international school which means that um, people from out of Mexico go to it, aka me, I'm from the US, California, and um, I'm going to go there for two years and then um, after my on my third and fourth year I'm gonna go somewhere in the States to do rotations kind of like um, like the same um, path as the US medical schools and then hopefully or more so it's gonna happen I'm gonna go to um, you know residency and whatever just basically everything that's happening in the US but in Mexico <laughs> um, uh, okay so then basically I wanted to show you um, my process of going to it just because I've realized that there's not a lot of info um, in the internet on YouTube reddit etc so this is gonna be me so my first thoughts about going to Mexico was like cool you know um, I speak Spanish so I didn't think that it would be difficult even though the classes are going to be in English um, it's nice to know the language of the country that you're gonna be in um, especially because you I will probably go to clinics or hospitals um, in the area which will have Spanish uh, speaking patients which is what I want to focus on when I come back to the States as a doctor so I thought it was a win-win for me um, but then besides that I was totally scared I was like oh my god like I'm gonna actually do this I never thought that this was going to be my journey, but here we are. Um, so I was scared and the only reason why I even applied was because my pre-med advisor um, told me about the school and told me that she had some of her like mentees like be there and uh, graduate from there and I was like, ooh, I've never heard of this. I've only heard of MDs here in the, in the States and then also DO schools and than the Caribbean, you know, the big four or whatever. And so I was like, oh my God, like, am I really gonna go to Mexico a whole other route? Um, that's supposed to be similar to the um, Caribbean way, right? Because now I'm gonna be considered a US uh, IMG, which is US International International Medical Graduate, as soon as I graduate, of, graduate, of course. Um, so I was still scared, you know? So this is what I did. Um, my first thing first was I went to Instagram um, just because I, I go to Instagram a lot and so I looked up UAG and then I scrolled through their entire um, page or profile whatever and then I looked through each of their pictures and I was reading slash like kind of seeing how it looks like over there um, and I saw that there's some certain students that were tagged and so I went on their page and then some of them a lot of them were pro uh, their profile was private so I was like all right whatever but the people that were not private I was scrolling through their pictures just to see if they can kind of like I don't know say anything because I didn't really know anything besides their the UAG website um, and well that like didn't really help me out as much so because they only posted things about themselves, like them as a student, um, which I totally get because it's their own IG, right? So then I went on to Reddit, and then Reddit, um, all I learned was that there's a lot of like Puerto Rican students that go there apparently, <laughs> um, because there's rotations in Puerto Rico, so I guess maybe that's why, I don't know. And then um, I learned that a lot of people are very negative towards the uh, UAG a lot of comments were like no should I go there and then like the people are like no don't go there so that wasn't comforting and so then I moved on um, to the student doctor network which I know we're not supposed to go to right because they're like not uh, as accurate but whatever I went there and then um, all I read was don't go there or it's worse or the same as the Caribbean school but then some other people were saying that it was um it is what you make it basically so if you go and you do your stuff then you can make it and that was nice to hear um however a lot of the posts from reddit and social the student doctor network 
were very outdated I would say like 2011 or 5 and I was just like damn like there's nothing out there for me in 2020 um, and so then I went on to YouTube and on YouTube I basically found a UAG YouTube channel and they had a lot of very um, promotional videos um, kind of some physicians talking that worked there and some students talking but it was very much UAG approved you know so it was it was nice because I got to see a little bit about um, the the people there that work there and they all seem friendly and it was very positive which I like another thing I found on YouTube that I found useful was um, the me mentor um, PowerPoint presentation spoken by a former UAG alumni I'm assuming now at the at the time I think she was a third year or fourth year or something like that um, so check that out for more information about um, the school uh, uh, I think I think she talks about sorry I saw it a long time ago but I think she saw um, talks about more so like the application process and stuff like that so um, but I already knew that so that wasn't really helpful for me right now you know so then now um, I also found two other to other U uh, UAG um, YouTubers and they do uh, vlogs which I found very useful and um, it was nice to see <laughs> um, but still like regardless like it really didn't really give me what I needed or um, kind of like an assurance that everything's gonna be okay and you know because it's only two people who are just starting out and um, I wanted something more so like when you when you type in Caribbean school you have a lot of people you know like people who made it um, and a lot of um, current students and a lot of basically community like a very strong community and I didn't really find that anywhere um, not just on YouTube but like Reddit or Instagram you know which I didn't really um, not like I, I felt like alone ish you know so um, so I was like, whatever, I'm at a dead end and it is what it is and I, I guess I can't really figure out, um, kind of like get an inside look of the school right now or their curriculum or anything like that because um, the, all I had was the UAG website and on their website, it's very, very simplified. I don't know. Um, it didn't really help me. Like if you compare the UAG website to like the St. George uh, Caribbean school website like St. George's goes like in debt, you know, like PDFs and like here's my curriculum and stuff like that Whereas the UAG it's like, okay, you're gonna take like anatomy and blah 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 during your first year and I'm just like I mean, I guess yeah, like I'll figure it out when when I get there, but I want it more, you know so anyway, so knowing that I couldn't find more um after my like internet stalking um, finished, um, I basically went on to um, thinking more about what I'm going to do when I'm a student, you know, what do I need to do? Because I know that um, uh, there's like le less percentage of, of students who go to an international uh, medical school. Um, to actually make it into a residency because of there's a stigma that you know that we don't know as much or we're not as prepared um, So I was very scared. Uh, that's part of my fear. I guess um, when I um, Started this search like that's actually what motivated me to go on this search because I wanted to know that there was someone out there that made it you know and is successful and um like i can be that way just because it is possible you know so i started to look into the facts um i went on to different websites and um one of the websites that i found was match a resident match a resident is a website that basically um i will probably use in the future and i recommend y'all to use it too it's for when you are going to apply to residency through your eras application i've that's the residence the residency application I guess um, and so basically it, it helps you out because as an international um, student you want to know what are your chances of getting into certain um, certain hospitals slash like residencies right so basically um, you put in like your information your stats and then what um, specialty you want to go into and it will give you different schools and like percentages of like 
how likely you are gonna get in slash like how friendly they are to IMGs. Um, um, I hope that they are geared towards US IMGs and not just like uh, IMGs from like, you know, like if I'm a doctor from Colombia and, and I want to come to the States, you know, because that's like an OG, <laughs> I feel, IMG, but where uh, I'm a US IMG, but I shouldn't like worry about that. Um, Match Resident was actually made by somebody who, um, a doctor who went to a Caribbean school and he basically focused more on creating it so that other Caribbean students can go into a US for residency so i feel like I'm, i'll be fine but anyways that's what i found out another thing that i uh, looked into was the internet uh internal medicine um us img stats of how many basically how many students go into a residency internal medicine residency because that's kind of what I, i'm basically focusing on right now i think you know i know like people say like go in with an open mind and then like you'll change throughout the day throughout the years because the more you know because I don't know what I don't know right so right now I know that I think I'm gonna go into internal medicine <laughs> so that's why I was looking into their stats um, so it was a nice uh, information because I didn't know that existed out there and and seeing these numbers like uh, I like to be realistic you know um, know what I'm against so I found it useful Another thing that I've uh, found, well, not really found, but I guess uh, tried to look into was um, what else would make a, a application very good. And so I found this website and then this, on this website, it basically says it breaks down the application and I don't know if it's super reliable, but I feel like it is. I mean, that's what I found right now. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to keep this in mind as I go on. Um, and I start my, my medical school journey. Um, but basically this all, this like website journey basically made me think that I need to focus on my boards, right? Because that's, that's the only thing that I can do now. You know, I can't really do anything else um, right now. And I know that I'm not even like a first year to even be thinking about boards. So don't, don't come at me. But basically... I was thinking like, okay, well, since I can't really do anything right now to prepare, what can I do? And so I thought, okay, um, it'd be nice for me to like know what how I'm going to study once I'm in medical school and I know that I don't have the curriculum available or anything like that. So I was like, wow, so what do medical students learn in their first year? And so I went into like YouTube and to see different different first year medical students, what they learn. And so I basically found out that they learn um, biochemistry and then I think immunology in the first year. I mean, of course, with other stuff, but I, for sure those two. <laughs> um, so then I was like, okay, uh, what kind of books, you know? And so I found these books. Um, I'll link them. I'll put them in the description. And I basically downloaded them um, like a PDF. But then I, so then I was like, okay, so maybe I can start like reading it and see how I would study, maybe like pre-study, you know. Um, but then I was like, <laughs> then I kept on looking into other resources. And it turns out that um, Boards and Beyond is a very good resource that a lot of students use right now. Um, I guess better than Lectorio. Um, why i don't know but <laughs> i'm not in medical school yet but apparently this is what people do um and they also use anki cards i've used anki in the past but not to the extent that these students like use it i feel like i, I tried to use it and then i gave up on it because i was taking too long to make cards um i'm gonna make a video actually about boards and beyond in anki um how i started to use them later um but um basically Right now, I'm, I'm at that. I'm trying to review my biochemistry, I guess. And um, I haven't done my... I haven't gotten my visa yet because I need one. So I'll do another video on that. And then also, I haven't bought my materials yet in terms of the equipment that... They gave me an equipment list and I haven't bought that either. But I will do a video about that once I figure out which ones I'm actually buying. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to uh, share with you like what I did 
and um, hopefully it kind of clears your way of what you should do if you're if you're in the same um, boat as me. I just wanted to create a YouTube channel just to be a little bit more informational and um, give you like more of an inside look of what uh, UAG students I guess go through. This is my journey. I don't know what other students did to prepare. Uh, I'm definitely going to be reaching out to different people. I'm trying to get a mentor right now so I'll let y'all know how that goes and um, I would love to create um, a US IMG community you know and kind of um, kind of take away the fear from from going to, to Mexico as as an alternative. I don't think um, throughout my throughout this like week basically I found out that it's actually possible um, because there are some doctors out there that have made it and are working in the US you know so um, so it's gonna happen and it's gonna happen to me and I just wanted to show you all how I go through it and hopefully if there's alumni out there like y'all can help us out and if you if there's students out there that are like within my um, year or like like older than me like please help us out like you know this is just me trying to create some sort of mentoring community um out so that we can thrive together you know okay that's all i have for today see y'all in the next one bye